was a tough battle. Are there any chests here? The last couple of videos have been about 40 minutes. We gotta lower the time down a bit. Yeah, let's save. Right now, if I don't... Unless... Gloria stays alive right now, we lose a player or a character. They're dead till we get back to town. And I do not like that at all. So there weren't any chests here. Let's put the bed. I kind of want to use a sword. Oh man, get it! Oh, now it's clear. Now, oh good, now, yeah. It's exactly what I needed. Now. Not 20 minutes ago. Maybe Earth engulfed you. Sorry, pal. Dig deep, guys. Check this out. I mean, that is a battle changer, man. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, it says nothing there. Where are the... You can't go that way. Found that. Oh, come on, man. I really kind of want to get out of here and get back to town. I don't even want to know what the Bernard fight's going to be like. Here it comes! Huh. Allow me. Does that feel better? Let's see if this... Damn it! What's the plan? And the bard asterisk looks like it's going to be quite the monster. Should be able to really take care of business with that. I mean, you do have their real weakness, but. Okay then. I mean, we don't really need that, but... <laughs> Better luck next time! Right, now we did.
are going to regret turning on the That was a wee bit close for comfort. Why the fuck are these things fucking suddenly giving me a hard time? Garbage. I gotta buy 10,000 of these fucking things. And by the way, we were doing fine until the last few battles. I don't know what the hell just happened there. But not. It's like ever since I was, I lost I Phoenix Towns, so everyone's dying. Not while I'm eating. The smell of you is enough to turn a man's stomach. Oh, awful feral creature. But... I have just taken delivery of a simply divine vintage. Do not disturb me. Unless, that is, you wish to return to the squalor from which you came. Sorry. Fine clothes, fine music, and fine food and drink. What else does a man live for? How else can one revel in the glory of existence? I... I'm sorry. Please don't send me away. Oh, stop fretting, you foolish child. Shut up and do as I say, and all will be just as it should be. Okay. There's a good girl. Anyway, I've finished now. Make your report. Orpheus attacked the princess as you ordered, but he was beaten and now he's run away. <laughs> Pathetic. I had thought his history with the royal nuisance would be sufficient to spur him on, but it seems not. Very well, you may leave. And what to do now, I wonder? I suppose the first order of business will be a little chat with a certain interested party. The intrigue. Mm. Alright, we gotta get back to town. Oh, I had that side quest, right? Oh, yeah, it was in that other. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta return it. I love you. <laughs> I have that problem, too. With people in the gym. First off, I gotta get her back to life. I I don't know if using I think staying at the inn might, but I think we're gonna have to buy a bunch of Phoenix Downs, which is okay because I have the money. Prince Castor, I have been looking for you everywhere. And now you have found me. Princess Gloria, I must insist that you refrain from taking the prince out of the city without notifying the relevant authorities. I was not taken anywhere, Dromed. I went of my own free will. Your Highness, whilst I understand your desire to aid our nation's allies, might I remind you that Musa is no more. There is precious little benefit to be gained from spending your valuable time on lost causes. Is everybody here such a dickhead? supposed to be polite? I am simply stating the truth. Musa may be no more, Dromed, but our duty to Princess Gloria is very much alive and well. Her Highness and her friends will remain until such time as they have ascertained the truth of the situation regarding the crystal. And during that time, they will continue to be our honored guests. But 
But, but, uh, as you wish, your highness. But please, I must beg you to conclude your dealings here quickly, Princess Gloria, for Savile's sake. When your business here is done, Prince Custer, you are needed at the palace. You think I would pick you over her? Right now. Well, you can hardly blame them for not wanting the prince bogged down with our business. Uh, the king is missing after all. Dromid means well, I assure you. Forgive him. Oh, please. It's entirely understandable. I'm sure I would feel exactly the same in his position. I have some positions myself. Your Highness. You know, I get the feeling that our distracting the prince isn't all that Dromed's worried about. It seems to me that he has another reason for wanting us out of the way. I cannot begin to imagine what else might be on his mind. But I will ask him, if it makes you feel better. For now, I must return to the palace. I will rejoin you when my business there is concluded. Being a prince must be hard work. Not that we have it easy, I guess. Aye. Someone tells me Bernard's not going to be telling us where he's hidden this crystal without some arm twisting. Well, as long as he doesn't bring a million enemies with him. Can help us. The girl? Yeah. What was her name again? Annie Hall? Yes, that was it. Annie Hall, what? We can track her down. Yes, he does. He was helpful. Now, first and foremost... Oof! Oh, we got another song. Let me just go to the end and see if we can... Okay, Adele? My baby. I'm fine. I just wish I could say the same about my shoes. Yeah, looks like they've seen better days. <laughs> you should get some new ones. I know. But these are. well. What's up with you two, eh? What are you both staring at? Crikey! The stare of your shoes, Adele. And they look like a hungry goblin's had a munch on them. Hey! Don't say that. These are the shoes you. Wait, I passed a wee footwear emporium not long back. You can get a new pair from there. Oh, it's a classy place, though. I tell you what, I'll go on ahead and smooth the way. Hey, wait! Elvis? Elvis? Why do you never listen? Uh, guys? Virtually anything. Let's go to the item shop. Which is... Well, it's... It's the weapon shop. you have anything new to say, my darling? Okay, so... Let's buy... That's good. 
think I can get that chest of the waters brought back down. I haven't bought a pair yet, huh? Well, I'm trying, but... How many times must I tell you? We are closed. See? Big man here is no being very cooperative. Don't tell me. You said something stupid, and now he won't serve you. What are you on about? I haven't done anything. Look, pal, be reasonable, eh? You can sell us one wee pair of shoes, surely. No, I cannot. I must go and look for my beloved Diana. The poor little thing. What's the matter, sir? Has this Diana gone missing? Yes, the evening meal dissatisfied her, and she ran out of the house. I have not seen her since. I cannot What's get this her here. She will spend yet another night gallivanting hither and thither. Wow, that doesn't sound good. How old is she? She is three. Three? Oh, no wonder you're worried. Okay, you stay right here and we'll go find her. Can you tell us a little about what she looks like, or what she's wearing, maybe? She has a red collar. A red collar, right. Anything else we... Wait. White fur? Oh. Yeah, I figured it was an animal. The most beautiful, bright blue eyes. She really yep, cat. Wow, I was dead on. Cat in the kingdom. Huh? Uh, hang on. Cat? She's your flippin' pet kitty. But she is so much more than a pet to me. She is my dearest friend. She is my life. Hey, there's a lot I would do for pussy, too. Well, I... The grief would be too much. I cannot think, let alone work, until I know that she is safe. Whoa, steady on there. It'll be okay. Aye, come on. There's no need to panic. Like my friend here said, we'll find your moggy woggy for you. You will? Cosmo Bell! We'll have her back with you in no time, don't you worry. And then, once that's done, you can give us a pair of shoes to say thanks. The ladies here are falling to pieces, as you can see. How would you not want to put, put shoes on this beautiful woman's gorgeous little feet? You may have any pair in the shop. It would be my pleasure. All right. Guess we'd better start looking then. About, no? All right, you then. Leave the rest to me. Yeah, kitty kitty. Come on, Diana. Come to Elvis. <laughs> huh? It's actually working. Well, he is a bard. That's right. Come to Elvis. Ooh, good kitty. Oi! Oh. She's coming to say hello to Auntie Adele. Hey there, little Puskin. Uh, fickle little so-and-so. Yes, there's a good puss. Yeah, that's what I want to say to you. Well, looks like we found our stray cat. Let's get her back home. Come on, kitty kitty. You are alive, and you have returned to me. My life is worth living once more. Thank you, my friends. You have earned your reward. Please, choose any pair of shoes you like. Should I also repair those you are already wearing? What do you reckon, Adele? Hmm... Yeah, I can't part with these just yet. Let's get them fixed up. Fair enough. Heaven knows why you'd want to keep the ratty old things off. What was that? Uh, nothing. Um, oh! Ah! Oh, there goes my blessed back. I must be all this traipsing around the place. <laughs> I'd better head back to the inn for a wee lie down. Ta-ta! Hey, Adele. Mind if I ask you why you're so attached to those old shoes? You really want to know? 
Well, all right then. I want to know everything about you, Adele. I mean, you know Gloria, but that's not your fault, and it's no hindrance. Gah, damn these things. They're too dang tight. Gah, that's it. I'm better off barefoot. Go on, good riddance. Ah, what the? What's this? Shoes? Who's throwing shoes about the place? I... I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you there. What's it was you there? What's the big idea? Oh, I, um... Just kind of, uh... uh... Look, I don't know what's going on, but it's no reason to go chucking stuff around willy-nilly, all right? I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> oh, this just makes me laugh. You can half them if you like. As an apology, I mean. Ah, nah, you're all right. They wouldn't fit me anyway. We never come to mention it. They look a wee bit small for you and all. Know a lot about women's feet, do you? Got some kind of special interest? Ah, oh, Japan. What are you on about? I'm just blessed with exceptional powers of perception, that's all. What are you doing giving your shoes away anyway? You can't go around in bare feet. Oh, don't even try to talk me into putting those things back on. Not happening. Fair enough. Wait there a second. Here, new shoes. Go on, try them on. For me? But why? Just try them on, will you? They'll fit a lot better than the others, I promise. Well, okay. Wow, they're perfect. No way. Oh, this makes such a difference. Glad to hear it. You can't very well go travelling round in shoes you can barely walk in. Are you really giving me these? Hey, you can buy me a drink to say thanks if it makes you feel better. If you're looking for a drinking buddy, you're looking in the wrong place. But I suppose these are at least a one-drink pair. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the spirit. Come on, I'm good company, I promise. That's one way to get a woman, I guess. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Remind me to get hit in the head by flying shoes more often. This wee drinkies put me in a grand old mood ahead of my journey. You're going away somewhere? You could say that, aye. I'm off to hunt down some wee thing bees they call asterisks. Asterisks? Okay. Hey, how about you hire me to come with you? Uh, hire you? What do you mean? Well, I may not look like it, but I'm actually a mercenary. And it can be dangerous out there. You need someone to watch your back. I'd watch your back in front all day, baby. Why don't I give you a discount? After all, they really are great shoes. I like all the winking, too. I just love Japan, how there's always a woman that insinuates that the guy's trying to be a pervert. The truth is, I didn't much enjoy looking for Edna all by myself. She'd left the village without telling anyone where she was going. Without leaving any clues. I was just wandering around from place to place. But then I met Elvis, and for the first time I had a direction. In a way, that's when my journey really started. Wow. <laughs> no wonder you can't leave them behind. They're a reminder of how it all began, huh? Yes, but... Please don't tell Elvis. He'd never let me hear the end of it. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. You don't think it's weird, do you? Keeping hold of a pair of stinky old shoes? Nope. Not at all. If you ask me, they deserve to come along for the ride. <laughs> they do, huh? Thanks. Anything for you, my darling. I think we're going to stop because we're kind of running on about 30 minutes and the last one was like 38 minutes and the one before that was like 48 minutes so
Oh yeah, he's got a nice pair of shoes. You gotta see my shoes. Leave my lady alone. Yeah, well, we, let me see what this new trinket does. Yeah, I never spend money on it. That's good for her. Let me think. So. Yeah, I'm trying to figure. Okay, so he has. I just really want to get to this. Oh. Wait, self healing was what? So anyway, when we come back, let me go over to the end. When we return, we'll go through the main storyline. Can I save here? Let's just save here. When we come back, we'll, go, we'll take on the main storyline. I will see you then.